Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna go over oil and natural gas to do our daily technical analysis update. Uh, I'll give you my financial opinion, please use advice. And here we go, so the charts do the talking. <clears throat> so here's crude oil. This is uh, light crude oil futures. We have a little bit of a sell off here, and then we've got some fear in the market. Uh, fear that uh, Asia or China is going to go into lockdown and that demand is going to go away or or some part of demand uh, so we'll see what happens guys um, what i do when i see these large down days like this is i kind of look at the mining or the uh, exploration companies see how they're reacting are they being amplified to the move lower or are they being bought up where they just have small down days on a large nine nine percent down day of oil but we've got support underneath this at about $98, uh, maybe even down all the way to $95, $95, $98, somewhere in that range. Uh, we could head a little bit lower before heading higher. Quite obvious, I get it. But uh, that you know, we've got some fear in the market. Natural gas, this one's already broken out. It's got a bloody stomach. I don't know, wherever this is located. But uh, we've broken to the upside of this large pattern. And when you zoom into it, uh, we've broken out of this pattern here to the upside, and we're getting a little bit of a bloody nose when looking at a weekly candlestick pattern. Uh, there's your little bloody nose. And usually that's a continuation pattern to the upside, usually. XOP, XOP's got that bloody uh, heart. It's a bloody heart, a bloody nose. A uh, little, little down day. This is on a weekly candlestick basis. Uh, here's the dailies. Uh, so it's a little, little bloody kick to the, I don't know what, but uh, it still looks good. I, there's nothing wrong with a small little down day next to a large standing big tall guy, I should say. Or girl, or girl. Uh, SM Energy, ha they all have this little kind of bloody cross. Uh, we've got a nice big tall guy or girl. I I'm including everyone, okay? Inclusive channel. <laughs> with a little, little down day there. But uh, I do think this is a continuation pattern to the upside. Uh, and when oil re-engages to the upside the for the summer, uh, I think this is the pattern's broken to the upside. It's it's already showed its its deck of hands. We we've won the the card game, guys. Uh, now we just have to execute on the move up when oil goes. Uh, CDEV, another one that's right, kind of at resistance. Uh, this is a bloody. Th this would be a hemorrhoid. This is this is the hemorrhoidal uh, pattern here, I guess. But uh, yeah, we're right underneath it, waiting for a, a move higher uh, in the underlying commodity itself. Uh, I don't know how Crew Energy came away with a slightly up day in a 9% down day of crude oil and a down day in natural gas, but uh, this is one of my favorite companies. I, I do like Crew Energy. Uh, just moving sideways, this will, I think, continue higher as natural gas and oil go higher. Uh, CPE still within the pattern right at resistance. It is looking fantastic, guys. It will break. Nice big, big buying pressure days with small down days. Exactly what I look for. Athabasca right above its support line. This support line is this guy here. Not much resistance between, you know, two bucks and 580, 550, somewhere in there. It could rocket higher at any point. Recaf moving on sideways today. Little down day. Uh, CPG, another one with a down day today. We're still above everything in above support everything looks okay northern oil and gas again you know nine percent down day in oil uh, you're four and a half percent down here uh that we're right breaking you know peeking out of this downtrend line looking really good uh gte let's zoom in yeah it's bouncing around could come back a little bit depends what oil does really does uh tellurian yeah when you get monster days like this guys you don't want to chase you want to let the the bloody nose ensue this is a bigger bloody nose. We might do a little bit of a pullback here before heading higher. We've had a monster run. Uh, we went all the way from the bottom here of 330 to almost 100% move in a very quick time. Uh, Pedevco moving sideways. Uh, Oasis, again, a little bit of a selling pressure. It's not a reverse candlestick pattern. Uh, we're just bouncing off some support. Let me extend this line here. Tightening it all up. Uh, CRK was somehow up today. 
Uh, that's pretty impressive on a down day in oil and natural gas. But it's it's right there sitting on top of sitting right on top of this big pattern, guys. Probably gonna see a big move at some point, get a little bit of you know stickiness through here, but Sandridge, another one that's got a breakout capability here to run for uh clearing the 52 week high. Ring energy is another one that's in good position. Uh, what I like about it is nice, strong, solid support underneath it. Nice big up days and small down days. This one looks really good for a move higher, guys. I really do like it. Uh, Surge Energy, another one that looks really good. <sighs> Thankful for all these opportunities. Nice, good downtrend. We're starting to break. We've got huge volume stepping into this. Look at that volume. My God. And yeah, this could come back. I wouldn't be afraid. I'd use it as buying opportunity. I'd use it as a cost averaging opportunity. Uh, we've got Tamarack Valley moving sideways here. A little bit of selling pressure in this area. You can see all the red candlesticks clustered together. Uh, Crescent, Crescent Energy Company. Eh, it's a down day. Still looks fine. Vermilion, a little bit of a down day. And then Meg Energy right on support of this bigger picture megaphone pattern that's going to probably break to the upside. Uh, oil services getting sold off. Uh, again, I, I like this sector quite a bit. Uh, I wouldn't do anything with it, but a little bit of a sell-off. A little bit of sell-off in Tetra Technologies. There's a little bit of resistance in this area here. And you kind of hit, hit our head, hit our head, hit our head. Coming on back. Uh, Rig, another one I really do like. Uh, big update here today was, I mean, yesterday, last trading session, not this one, but last one, uh, we just had a big update and we got a small little, you know, punch to the stomach, but uh, it's not derailing the move, I don't think. No reversal pattern. No reversal pattern here either. It was just a, it was just a down day. Uh, EXTN, another down day. Still looking good on a long-term perspective. Uh, Valeris, small uh, cross, bloody cross, we'll call it. Looking at MRM, somehow it was up. Momentum's coming a little bit down, but again, I really like this chart from a long-term perspective, guys. Uh, it's coming on up. Looks looks fantastic. Uh, Tidewaters had a pretty big run, uh, getting a little bit of selling pressure again. This isn't a reversal candlestick, though. Yeah, we'll see what happens. NEX, a little bit of a down day, not a reversal candlestick. Uh, KLXE getting getting more of a more selling pressure. We might head back down to the bottom here. We might. If we do that, I am going to buy it. Uh, we are still in this channel going back and forth. Still in the channel. CHX, uh, I do like it right here. It's looking like it's pausing before a break uh, of this downtrend line. That's usually where I like to buy. Usually. S big up days, small little down weeks. These are weeks. Big up week, small little down weeks, and then we break. Eventually, uh, cactus energy daily candlesticks were still chopping sideways here, looking good with a slight upward slant. Always like the upward slants, make a little money. Uh, nines just moving sideways. Uh, OII is right on the support line. That's usually where I buy uh, a little bit of shares, is right where they uh, are positioned on the support line. Uh, Noble energy. Another one that's gone quite good. Bloody nose today. Looks good. Continuation pattern usually to the upside. Uh, Helix Group, just a, just a down day. No reversal candlestick. CGGYY, another down day. Just got to be patient, guys. You buy it and you hold on. And higher lows are stepping up in here. Petrofac, another small down day. Nothing to worry about. And then McCoy Global. Uh, we've broken out of everything and it's just moving sideways. Still looks good. Uh, so on to there, guys. Uh, again, we, we had a massive down day in oil. Uh, almost looks like somebody was trying to push oil down, like, like they were suppressing the price lower. And then positioning themselves in some of the oil and gas companies and maybe even some of these service companies. That's why we saw some up days there and some kind of weaker down days in relationship to oil itself. Uh, so I think I think there's some positioning going on here. That's what I think. And uh, you know what? I would do the same thing. If you like oil, I mean, pick your favorite companies, 
Uh, and what I would do is, you know, look for spots that you think you can find some support. And then I'd probably add a little bit in. The energy service companies are of great value too, guys. And when when oil goes up and everybody scrambles to get more energy, I think the service companies should do quite well. So uh, that that's where I'm hanging out. The oil and gas companies, the service companies, uranium, uh, agriculture, potash, you know, fertilizer companies. I, I like all these sectors, guys. I don't really care which sector i don't have a favorite necessarily but uh they all they all look they all look good it's just going to take some time give me a thumb up for the for the content guys subscribe to the channel subscribe to the website if you want to uh, it's in the link i'd run that website and uh, i'll post some of this stuff on the website i'm going to uh, probably tonight or tomorrow morning and i'll uh, keep you guys updated on what i think are the best uh, options thanks for listening guys this is finding value